Hey, 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 guys. How are you today? So, a little change for our Deep Talk episode 2. Uh, my dear friend Alicia could not make it. Uh, she has um, something uh, that has happened. And as you know, it's important to be flexible. So, we just changed the, the schedule and we will do another um, thing with her at another time. So, just for you to see the cell that I have, we have made for the next talk. So, I uh, will an answer a question that has been asked to me today, uh, not today, during the last talk with Alicia, was um, what is freedom? What is freedom? And um, actually, that's a very interesting question. And um, very, very interesting question because freedom is this kind of word where you can't handle, right? Uh, if I say to you, can you grab me a mug or could you take this chair? It's something you can handle with your hand. You can put that in your hand. And freedom is not that kind of word. It's a word that you need to, it's an idea, it's a concept you need to think about. Like if I say to you, freedom, you might have an idea of what is freedom for you. Might not be the same for me. And it's like respect. And freedom is this kind of funny word I love to talk about because every single person has a definition of what is freedom for them. And, um, so answer the question of what is freedom would be like what does it mean for you what freedom means for you because there i i believe that we are seven billion people and we all have a definition of what is freedom so to answer that i will answer what what is my definition of freedom and uh, what is the, the thing that that makes me feel free because this is what we talked about, right? And what is freedom? What is what my definition of freedom? My definition of freedom is being able to be myself and do what I want with everyone. And this is for me freedom, like the freedom of the mind, like the freedom of being being myself, not being labeled, not being someone else, not being whatever I, not whatever the society define of me, being free of any any box that we I can be be in. So this is my own definition of freedom, and that that's for me really important because I had this biggest realization this weekend. Um, on Sunday with some friend, we worked on values because values are very important as well because your values are your driven force. This is what drives you or this is what this is what drives you towards or drives you or pull you away from what you really want in life, from what you want in life. For example, if your your first very first value is health, then you're gonna do everything towards health. If your very first value is money, you're going to do everything to get more money. If whatever happened, uh, if your very first value is surviving, then you're going to move to survive in your life. And that's make me realize that I don't, for me, I don't even have money in my list of value. And and that's that's a funny thing because when you think about that, your we 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 work on on Sunday. We work on the hierarchy of values. What's really what's important, what's not important, and how our values are driven. And freedom for me is actually one of the is the first one. Like playfulness and choice. But by choice for me it means freedom. And freedom, as as just explained, is really so. It's important. And I figure out that money uh, that kind of stuff was not even in my list that was not even there 
And you know, like it's okay. I'm gonna share with you a story. Um, let's let's face it, guys. My mom make the best brownie ever. If you will not agree, uh, you're more than welcome to make me one, and I'll tell you. So my mom make this wonderful brownie, and as many people like, I. I make this wonderful, um, she make this wonderful brownie and I don't know for you, but when I like something that other people do, I like to know how to do it. So I asked her for the recipe. So I asked her for a recipe. She gave me the recipe and I tried it. I tried to do my, the, um, the brownie at home. And what happened is I, I followed the recipe I did exactly this what she said on the recipe and I end up with a great chocolate cake but not mom's way of doing the brownie and I was like well what happened because I followed the exact same recipe that she gave me and I didn't I didn't manage to to make the brownie I get a good chocolate cake but not the brownie so I said to myself, ah, maybe I, I haven't followed exactly the recipe. You know, like when you, you try to do something and you, you're not successful, you, you, you think that maybe you're not following the recipe exactly. So what I did is I did another cake and I, I followed each step of the, of the recipe. Again, you can guess I end up with another good chocolate cake, but not the brownie as my mom did the one I, I really love. So I start questioning my, I start questioning not myself, but the recipe, because I know that some people like they don't give you all the tool, all the, the, the elements, all the steps. So I start because my grandma is like that. She said, Oh, you can put a little bit of that, of that, of that. And you know, like she, she make it from intuition. Like you just do it. And if, if you ask her, she doesn't really know how she does it. So I get to my mom and I ask her like how you, I can't get the same brownie as you. The recipe does not work. I, I get a good chocolate cake, but not the brownie as you. Do you mind if we do the, the, the brownie together? And she said, no, no, we can do the brownie together. So we did the brownie together and guess what? What happened? We get a good brownie the very good brownie, even better than when she did that alone. And I was like, oh, so it's not the recipe. So it might be something I do, not something has to do with the process with the recipe. And so I get home and then I try again to do the recipe. And this time, guess what? I get a good chocolate cake again and not definitely not a brownie so i start questioning myself I start really questioning myself ah, am i not i'm not, am, I, am i not good enough to make a brownie am i not good to do the brownie well or you know like something something wrong or maybe i'm just like i'm not i don't have the experience i don't have the i don't know i had something but still i wanted to do to be able to do the brownie myself, not to each time ask my mom to do the brownie. So what I did is I invited her to my place so we can do the brownie together. And uh, I realized uh, that I have the grocery, I have everything, and, and I did not realize at the moment, sorry. Um, she looked at everything I had, all the ingredients and all of that, and she said, oh, it won't work. I was like, what? Why it, it why it won't work? Because this is the ingredients you said on your recipe. I, I got the flour, I got the sugar, I got the chocolate, I got the uh, the chocolate powder, I got the, the the pecan nuts, I got I got everything you said. She said, Yes, you have everything, but that's not that's not what I I I, I buy it for myself, so it won't work. And I was like, What? But this is the same flower, flowers, flower, 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 chocolate, chocolate. And she said, no, 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 I've tried it before and it won't work. So 
if we if you want to do the brownie as I do, we need to buy the same brand of ingredients as me. And I was like, okay, let's do that then, because for me, in my mind, it was the same. So what we we did, we did the grocery together. She she bought exactly the same ingredient as her, as she had at her home, and we did the brownie together at my place. And then, guess what? We get the the brownie exactly as she did. So all that just though. All that just to realize that sometimes we have the process and we are not able to make to make it work because we do not have the right ingredients. And most important, as many recipes, you might have not the right ingredients, but you might not put that in the right order. For example, my mom said, um, I was like with the oven, like she said, oh, I didn't know, I didn't tell you these little details, um, these little details, but uh, you have to switch on the oven first before putting the ingredients. You have to, uh, you have to let the egg, the eggs outside for a few minutes, uh, outside of the fridge for a few minutes. And all these little details in the recipe, that was what makes the recipe good. So, and this is exactly what the same thing for the values, right? And uh, sometimes you follow a step, you follow maybe a coach or trainer, and it gives you the steps, the, the, the steps to follow the process, and it's still, you're not there. You don't, you, and you don't know why, because you do exactly exactly on how to do it and you follow the steps but still don't get the results expected maybe this is the time where you look at the ingredients to that so hope this story helps you in any way hope you find something interesting in that if so please like and comment the video and i'm gonna answer if you have any question or any comments about that i will be more than happy to to answer the comment i'm just checking the the comment right now so oh thank you mel really appreciate so yes exactly exactly um as as we we need to look at the ingredients first because like any recipe if you don't have the ingredients you might end up with something that is not what you expect it does not mean it's good or bad it's just like you this is not what you expect to have like in my case i expect to have a very great brownie with uh, the same as my mom with the crust outside when you cut it and it's crusty and it's really smooth inside and it's almost like a almost like a chocolate mousse inside she she, she did very great brownie like a, almost a chocolate mousse inside and with the, the pecan nuts and all that and but if i hadn't the, the right ingredients i couldn't make it happen so yes look at the ingredients so okay so yes be yeah no okay but yeah Hey, Beano, thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, I'll survive. I'll still breathing. I'm still breathing. I'm alive. Yes, yes. This, this is exactly that. Alive, being alive. This is what means. The, I guess this is what means freedom for you. So I'm just translated. It's a French comment from from one of my French followers. I, I, buddy. Uh, each second is a is a gift. So true, my friend. Each second is a gift. Each second is a gift from life. So, thank you for joining. And I have a big surprise on Sunday. I'm going to do another deep talk, a much longer this time. Uh, because, as you know, flexibility uh, is one of the, the most important keys to survive. So, I've been flexible. As Alicia was not this available today, uh, she has some other thing that happened in your life. So um, I have a big surprise for you on Sunday afternoon. And so stay tuned. Much love to you. Bye.
See you. Bye-bye.